welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again for yet another horror installment, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at NECA Toys. This is an early look at their brand new Walmart CollectorCon exclusive, but it is also a first to market, so eventually we'll go elsewhere. This is their brand new Ghostface Inferno action figure, and... It's pretty darn cool. Now, in true NECA fashion, it has a little flappy opening box, so you get to see a nice photo of Ghostface and then everything that's in there, and he's brought a ton of new goodies with him this time. Nice photos of the figure on either side. It's the same photo, and on the back, well, all hell is beginning to break loose. Here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure, so thank you very much for that. Everyone did a fantastic job here, and here is the barcode as well for when these eventually start to hit store shelves. Now, if you ordered off the Walmart Collector Con, they should be shipping out relatively fast, so just keep an eye on your mailbox, but when they do start to hit store shelves, wherever, whenever, here's the barcode for you. So. This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new NECA toys straight from the Scream franchise. Wink, wink. This is the new Ghost Face Inferno action figure. Here we go. So now here's Ghostface out of the packaging. And like I said, he comes with a ton of accessories, which is always a nice touch. You can really soup this guy up, get him into a number of different poses, and really have some fun just mercilessly slaughtering your victims, if you so choose. So, he does come with a pitchfork. It's fairly simplistic, but dang it all, oh, that's a pitchfork, and that looks pretty cool, and I like that the prongs are not necessarily a hard plastic. They're very gummy-ish, so they're not gonna snap or break, but yes, Ghostface with his many hands that I'll be showing you in just a second, can definitely pitchfork you to death if he so chooses. Now, with this flamethrower, that's a nice new touch for old Ghostface. It's very simplistic, nice greens, nice bit of silver, got some black to it. It's a nicely done. Always with the weapons, these NECA toys is people, right? They craft such fine goods, and along with this fire effect, you can really bring this flamethrower to life. Simply just clips right onto the end of said flamethrower, and bingo bango, you got yourself one deadly weapon, uh, muy fuego, right? So that looks pretty darn cool, and again, all the hands, everything really works with this figure to then utilize these accessories and get him properly posed, disposing of all his would-be victims. And I will point out that the fire flame effect really does stay on there nicely, so that's a nice touch. It's not falling off every two seconds. Now, no ghost face would be complete without his fancy smancy Woodsboro brand voice modulator. So the battery's properly installed in your favorite knife in hand. Give old Drew Barrymore the ring-a-ding and ask her the age-old question, What's your favorite scary movie? Now, I really do like the selection of hands that they have here. Oftentimes, they don't always fit the weapons, and that's across the board with every company. However, there are multiple grips for these, and that's really handy when gripping those small knives. You do get a pair of machetes, a bit more black-bladed weapons with a black handle, but you can see all the silver accents, and they are painted beautifully. Very nicely done if you want to hack and slash your way through Woodsboro. And like I said, with the various hands, various grips, it really does help in holding these smaller type accessories so you really can hold on for dear life. Now, this is my favorite accessory right here. This is the same knife, both chromed out, nice silver reflective. I mean, it's perfect. That is a knife for a killer like Ghostface. And just to do this properly, you can stab yourself right in the finger and pull it out. Yes, you do get a bloodied knife. That's a nice touch. Just the way the blood looks, it looks very wet, looks fresh. <laughs> this review's getting weird. Anyways, you get three different head portraits, head dresses for Ghostface. Each one is a little bit different. The one on the figure right now doesn't have these little tassel things. So you get various looks for your various Ghostfaces 
And that's a nice touch. Each one is a little bit different and there's multiple way to pose them out because you get the more decrepit looking ghost face mask. You could say from the recent ghost face takes New York scream movie. I definitely like that. This one really does stand out. This is more of a devil horns and it comes from the video game or at least is inspired by the ghost face from dead by daylight. That was an add on skin you could purchase for the game. I love the way that this thing looks. That just really adds something. Wouldn't mind seeing Seeing newer ghost faces as the movies continue and yes they are going to continue however this one while I love the devil horned one this one really takes the cake much like the knives themselves this is a chromed out ghost face mask and that is just cool and the way it works is it just simply pegs in to any of the three black head portraits so you swip swap them at your leisure it's very easy to do each one provides a different look like this one for instance has a little bit more of a hood around the face so again that's a nice touch and ghost face himself is nicely done now i do have a few in my collection but i would say that now this one is definitely the most articulated also just the one that's a lot more souped up, ready to go, lots of different styles, poses, all that jazz, and his robes are nicely done. He's got his little tassels underneath the arm, all of it stitched beautifully, it even has a bendy wire in it. That's a nice touch towards the robes and around the face. And I'm gonna tell you, just learn the articulation before you start moving things, especially in the shoulders. In fact, you might wanna heat those up, but all of the articulation moves with this figure. You can see that he has skin, Underneath this, it's not just an all solid black figure. And yes, underneath his garbs, he is wearing Kevlar, a bulletproof vest, which is a nice touch. And getting the robes off of him is fairly simple. Just pull the hood back, pop the head off, and bingo bango, yes, you've got yourself a derobed ghost face. So you can see how everything works. And then really also to display him in this way. I like the way they did his shoes, the pants, everything is nicely detailed in that traditional neck of fashion. He's also pinless, so that's a nice touch. Now right here, I like that he has some bullets in the Kevlar. That's a nice touch. He's taken a few to the chest. That's how he always survives. Well, the various killers until the end, but you get the idea. Lots of articulation in the head. The neck is a separate piece to the head and it moves around and just gives enough momentum rotation so you can check all around the apartments and look for your would-be victims. I will tell you again, go really easy with the shoulders. In fact, you may want to heat them up. That's the only area on this figure where I would say that would give you some kind of difficulty in moving him around initially. He's got single jointed elbows, the swivels at the elbows. He's got the wrists, which will move and twist. You get the idea, lots of rotation there, although you will see some paint fleckage of the flesh in that ball joint, unfortunately. Now, right here at the waist, pretty solid. Now, it's not gonna be a full ab crunch, but again, lots of articulation in the legs, a bit of a quote unquote thigh swivel, but more towards the groin, and he's got knees with some swivel, and yes, you will see some swivel in the foot. Not so much up and down, more swivel side to side. Just keep that in mind, but, while some people may want to display him as such, no, for me, it's just gonna to have to be full on ghost face. And again, I love that chrome mask, which with the various head portraits, moving the head side to side, left to right, gives you plenty of momentum, even with the face portraits that have the tassels on them. So through and through, yeah, it's a really cool looking ghost face. And like I mentioned, the bottom half of the front right here has a bendy wire in it along with the hood, so you can kind of get him in more dramatic poses. It's not necessarily the strongest bendy wire and it is kind of cumbersome when you want to then put it back to normal in that way, but you work with it, you get it done. It's a pretty solid figure. And if you're wondering how does he scale up to other figures? Well, in terms of NECA toys, he is going to be around the seven inch mark. So he will scale with NECA toys through and through from the brand new War Duke, the retro carded version to Casey Jones from The Last Ronin. If you wanted to put all these together, yeah, you could do that, I suppose. DC Multiverse from McFarlane. Now, he will actually fit with their scale. He'll be around Batman's height or one of the Batman's heights. You know what I'm talking about there. Marvel Legends, no, I would say that he's entirely too tall for him to fit into that line. But in terms of Mafex or the Naughty or Nice collection, it's going to be a mixed bag. But in either case, if you really wanted to, 
you could just have Ghostface at the top and just wielding his knife, wielding his voice modulator, because you just know that everyone around him has already been just viciously murdered. <laughs> Right on your toy shelf, everyone. So, that's gonna wrap it up for my early look at the brand new Naked Toys Ghost Face Inferno 7-inch action figure. And I gotta say, he is pretty solid. I really enjoy all the accessories. I like the interchangeable hands that fit said accessories, and I like what they did with the tech for you to be able to swap out the various masks. You get a lot of different looks. He's just overall a well-articulated figure for the type of character that we know and sort of love as Ghostface. So you've heard my thoughts now, and I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostface Inferno. And thank you again, my friends over at NECA Toys for setting this out for the purposes of this video. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, I just finally saw Ghostface Takes New York. It was corny as heck, but dang it, I'm ready to see another one. And I, I'm pretty sure Nev Campbell is a coming back for the next one, so it should be fun. And when she does, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.